And welcome back to Resident Evil Village. By God, it's been some time, hasn't it? Well, apparently, a little while ago, uh, a new DLC pack dropped for this game. One that has been quite anticipated. And, well, it seemed to be rude not to uh, jump on that. Hey. So, uh, let's go through the DLC. Uh, now, full disclaimer... I have completed it and played all, all through it when it first came out. Um, it's it's good, you know. Uh, I wasn't really sure what to expect. It is a interesting tale with some new mechanics. There's some sections that I really did quite like, and there's one particular bit that I really <laughs> didn't like. But we'll get into that anyway. So. Let's go bonuses, and we will go Shadows of Rose. We do need to get into the Mercenaries mode at some point. My computer doesn't run it very well uh, at all. It's really distracting, the performance. Um, I am in the extremely near future, uh, the next few months or so, going to get a new graphics card. Um, I don't know what to get. <laughs> At the moment, I don't know whether I'm going to go for the uh, RTX 4080, which, you know, is speculated to be just under two grand, which... <sighs> Maybe, I don't know, possibly. Or uh, you have AMD's new cards coming out, which um, I'm really... <sighs> I, I'm not a big fan of AMD graphics cards. I had one uh, quite a few generations ago. It was a pain in the ass, um, but I'd rather spend a grand on a graphics card than nearly two. Uh, who knows? Anyway, that's that's a, a conundrum for me to sit and think about. Um, so, Shadows of Rose. Let's go. This game, it does have some performance issues here and there but it's not that bad um i did think i was going to be holding off doing this dlc until i upgraded but after playing through it it wasn't bad actually considering we, we are playing close to maxed out settings and yeah <laughs> mercenaries is kind of like no because you need to be fast and quick and move and and all that lot and it's really juddery this runs a lot better than Mercenary. I, okay, I don't know. Anyway, let's go. So I played this when it first came out, and that was, what, nearly two weeks ago? So this is going to be fun. So let's go new game. We're going to go hardcore. I'm tempted to go hardcore. Should we go hardcore? Should we see what it's like? Let's go hardcore. Uh, I played the normal mode, and it was extremely easy. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. I'm just enjoying the day. <clears throat> you said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I, if I worry about you... How is, um, how are things at school? Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? You mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was... So, you don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. 
Well, you already know about Miranda and the mutamized heat, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamized heat from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No, no, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? Oh my god, Rose is so weird. Yeah. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away from it, Ugh, so creepy. Imagine wanting to be friends Ugh, she's with her. Definitely. Ew. Something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up. Yeah. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Freak. Okay, very interesting start. I'm still here. Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. Now, the way it seamlessly goes into the gameplay there is so cool. So, here we go. They've actually retrofitted this third-person kind of viewpoint into the engine. And the biggest question is, does it work? Uh, yeah, actually, surprisingly, it's... It's not perfect because the game wasn't actually built around it. But it's bloody good. Um... So here we are. Anyway, that was a little bit weird. It's like, oh, uh, would you like to get rid of your powers, Rose? And Rose is like, uh, yeah, fuck yeah, man. I want to get rid of my powers. So our dude bro uh, K just literally swings us off to his top secret lab where he has just a a portion of this uh, Mega Micey just waiting there in, in a fairly low security lab by the look of these things. Uh, I mean, okay. Yeah, why not? So, Miranda's research claims that the Megamycete preserves the memories of people who passed away within its area of influence. This uh, Mega and Mutamycete thing is actually, it's, it really is quite cool. Uh, absorbing them into its own vast consciousness. We also know, based on our previous encounters with the mold, that people who are contained within the Mutamycete are connected in a kind of mold network. If we extrapolate from this, we can summarize that subjects with a strong affinity to the Mutamycete should be able to use the network to connect to the memories of 
the dead within the Megamycete. Kind of interesting. Uh, if anybody's played a game called Scorn recently, it was kind of reminding me of that. Uh, it should be possible to verify this theory using the lab's Megamycete sample we collected 16 years ago. We just need a suitable subject with a proven connection to the mold. Unfortunately, this presents a problem. Our organization's policies prevent us from directly contacting civilians who are infected with mutamycete. So there is a few. Interesting. Certainly, the ethical reasoning is understandable, but it has rendered the uh, confirmation of this theory impossible. It pains me to think of how much mankind could stand to benefit from this preservation uh, and indexing of human consciousness. <laughs> Oh, this is very scorn. Okay. The possibility of preserving or even reclaiming great minds. Perhaps there's some way of cutting through the red tape. Hmm. Indeed. Maybe. Okay. So anyway, we've got a lot of funky stuff here. But sure. Wait. What? Yeah, that, that's... Different. That's very different. We're not in Kansas anymore, kids. Okay. Now, one thing they still can't get right with the, this game engine and a lot of uh, games is the hair. That's just... They're doing so well on so many things now, but they just can't get the hair right, unfortunately. I mean, it's better than it's ever been, but it's still a little bit... Hmm. This looks awfully familiar, doesn't it? Well, we've got a toilet in case we need to use one. I'll be next if I'm not quick. I need to get that crystal. Hmm. Is that the crystal Kay was talking about? So as I said, uh, parts of this were a little bit iffy <laughs> on normal, but the overwhelming majority of it was very, very easy. So I'm going to be interested. Ooh, that's not right. To see how this goes. So we've got a load of ooze through that room. Have a shoe. Well, ah. Uh, I mean, I guess we could put it on, but I think we already have to. So I'm guessing Rose is 16 then. Okay. So gross. What is this? Hmm. Probably don't want to get too close to it, Rose. Just saying. Evening. Let me out. Oh, hello. Someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? <laughs> Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Well, it seems a reasonable thing to do. Okay, so I guess we're not alone. I mean, that's good, right? Being alone here would kind of suck. Very quiet so far. Okay, let's turn the DPI up a bit, that's better. Well, we have some injections and things. Probably don't want to be messing with that, Rose. Just saying. Now this game is beautiful. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I, I personally absolutely love the RE. Ooh, hello. Rose, I love the RE engine. That's my name. Well, technically your name's Rosemary, but close enough, I guess. To create art, simply add to the rabbit's carcass. Decay is not an issue. No, spruce them up with a bit of makeup. It makes them seem more alive. Okay. All right. I mean... Ooh, sounds like we got gribblies through there. Okay. Actually, I don't know if I ever went through here. 
Go have a little poke around, see if there's any gribbly bastards. Nope. Ah, that's the key that we need. Alright, well, before we grab the key, let's go check out this other area. Like I say, it was over... Well, I played this when it first came out, whenever that was. That was a little while ago now. Yep. Okay. I'm not really sure what that achieved. Like, there's a hole there that we should be able to creep through, but we can't because there's a body in the way. Alright. Okay, so I guess that's all that's there. Now, I didn't find all of the guides. All of the guides? All of the notes in this game. I missed two. And I, w I do want to try and get them all. But I haven't been able to find a collectible guide for this game. This DLC. Uh, there's the Selkie. Okay. Hmm. Huh? Huh? is this stuff? I'm not sure what that stuff is, Rose, but you probably don't want to go stepping at it. I'm just saying. Ooh, yum. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to get that on your shoes. Uh, should I say, you don't want to get any more of that on your shoes. I mean, honestly, why would you come here wearing white shoes, Rose? Gross. Seems like a poor choice straight away. Anyway. Let's go find our friend. What was that? What was what? I didn't hear anything. Well, this is uh, escalated a little bit. Anyway, friend, let's uh, get you out of that cellar there, shall we? Unfortunately, the disembodied keys still just fly out of our pocket and go into the doors, but that's okay. Looks like. Well, that's bad. Thanks. Thank you. That was a. You look just like me. What's going on here? Let's keep moving. But too dangerous here. Okay, well she seems kinda like a robot. Um, yeah, well that place is full up, so I'm guessing whoever was in there uh has now become goop. Well that's fine. It's a little bit awkward being saved by yourself. Wait up! But, I mean, that's fine. We'll roll with it. She does... Oh, there she is. She does seem to be a little bit distracted, though. Ah! She knows about moving the body. Uh, need a, need a hand there? Help me lift. Uh, sure. So that picture looked like a load of girls running away from a blackish hey, blob thing. Hey, where are you going? Hmm. Well, okay. Claustrophobic, but that's fine. I'm not actually claustrophobic. But it does give me the EBGB sometimes. Okay, so she is kind of sentient. She does react to things. Oh, dear. Ah, uh, well, okay. 
Let's just uh, pretend we didn't see that. There are more, and they all look just like me. Yeah, I'm guessing. Do you know what's happening here? They don't seem to be too talkative. No. Hey, God. are you listening to me? It's gone. Does that imply that she was here before? Um, right. Well, we'll get on that. Let's go look for a key or something. Now, typical Resident Evil RE engine. If you see yellow, means you can uh, interact with it or it's... Le uh, okay. Or it's uh, kind of drawing your attention too. Need to find that handle quickly. Go deeper. Okay, so there's a lot of these girls... Uh, or copies of clones, I guess. Trying to get away from this. Wherever this is. Whatever this is. Okay. Curious. So that's locked from the other side. Well, that's a kick in the knickers. That's fine. Hello? I can hear that gurgling. Ooh. Somebody somewhere is having a bad time. So many bodies. Hmm. Well, whatever end they met, it doesn't look like a, a fun one. All right. Oh God, look at that. Not fantastic. Okay. Okay. We, we, we just... Oh, hello! Sorry, love. Did that really happen? Well, I think it did. She's definitely having a worse day than us. That's all I can say. Hey, didn't Kay say that we wouldn't be any any danger? I think Kay was lying. Dan well, I mean, actually, okay. So technically, we haven't been in any danger apart from... Ooh. What? Well, gee, good thing someone spilled paint all over this box. Um, yeah, so I guess... Kay was lying. Well. Well, that looked... That looked awfully unpleasant. Interesting. Okay, well that's a little bit awkward, to say the least. But it appears that we have some kind of psycho powers. Oh dear, oh dear. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, Alright, everything's under control, Rose. Everything's under control. Alright, I think... Oh, hi. Sir, you're not really helping yourself here. Okay, fine. Yep, we're just gonna just gonna keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. Okay. Oof. Dead end. No, stay back. Well, uh, don't question it. Just run. Any way forward is a good way forward. Probably. This way? Okay. So, we now have psycho powers? Or something? Hmm. Well, that was handy. Reminding me of Deathloop, this is. 
ever played Deathloop, this is kind of a similar thing, actually. Uh, except Deathloop just didn't grab my attention. Played it for a bit. Couple of hours. Um, yeah, yeah. Now we're getting somewhere. here how what is this where am I not until I get this out of my body there's a crystal here that will remove the mold I, I need to find it and I'm not leaving until I do Who are you? My guardian angel? Do you have a name? If you're an angel, then... Gabriel? Michael? Okay. Michael? What now? Hmm. How interesting. The plot thickens. Okay. Interesting stuff. So we can go through there. But we do have a little save point here, which we're going to take advantage of. Um. Okay. I don't know what's going on with my mouse. It's just going all over the place. Let's just save there. That's fine. Okay, right. So, uh, I'm probably going to sign this one off here, guys. Uh, when we come back, we're going to start exploring the castle. Uh, as you can see, things are different. We have uh, the beginnings of some kind of power, um, at least. And it's different for Resident Evil. But it's really interesting. Um, and... Uh, for the most part, as you see, as we go through this, it does work. Um, I I would have liked them to do more with it. But anyway, we'll, we'll get into that. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.